Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is a mini prayer time. Now, today we're going to be talking about love. So, Father, thank you today for your wonderful love. Now, it was John who said in 1 John 4, 7, 8, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Now, Lord, I'm thankful today for the wonderful love that you have communicated to us through Jesus Christ. And the beautiful thing is, Lord, when we believe, John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Lord, it's a wonderful platform to begin our life. Now, the beautiful thing about your love is that, Lord, we can receive it, and if we allow it to be part of every part of our lives, part of our new spiritual DNA, it's going to heal us, Lord, from the inside out. Because like the balm of Gilead, or like a, an ointment, Lord, that uh, helps with the healing process, accelerates it, then, Lord, that's the same way that the love of God is brought to us. It brings healing from the inside out. And as we allow your love, Lord, to flow into our life situation, interesting thing happens, Lord. We begin to heal. And also as well, we begin to trust again the betrayal, the lack of uh, the things that happen to us, Lord, the trauma that happens to us, Lord, begins to dissipate. It begins to evaporate. It begins to disappear. And what happens, Lord, is that we begin to trust and also begin to feel that we can once again get out there and we can again exhibit and demonstrate love because we have love and we've been forgiven. We've been loved into healing and health and wholeness. And then, Lord, as we love others, we begin to, Lord, exhibit the true agape love that only you can bring. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful, Lord, today for the fact that it can become part of our our, our lifestyle. We can actually love. And, and that's why Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13, and Lord, I talked about it before, but I thank you today that we can love. And when we do love, we produce we receive, and we are of real value. Now, Lord, I thank you that the foundation of everything that we do, our faith and our hope and our practice, is based on love. Lord, that's who you are. That's the thing that uh, Paul brought to our attention in 1 Corinthians 13, 13. He says, these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Father, thank you today for your love. And thank you that, Lord, we can demonstrate it. We can be representatives. We can be conduits. We can be channels in which it flows. And that's my prayer today. Father, especially, allow it to flow through us to a world that's lost and dying. It desperately needs it. And we need to give it today. So, Father, we're going to do a 1 Corinthians uh, 1 uh, 11 23 that which i receive i pass unto you it's the same thing that peter said in uh acts chapter 4 when he said silver and gold have i none but such as i have give i thee and that's exactly what we want to do today lord we want to give that love to a world that needs it back in 1969 there was a song by book Bacharach which went like this. He said, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's interesting that that same year, there was another song written by Andre Crouch that said, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above and there is no other, Jesus is the way. Father, help us to recognize that. Help us today to walk in our world with love. Wherever we find ourselves, Lord, it could be in the shopping center, could be at the grocery store, could be at the gas station, could be in our homes. Either way, Lord, help us today to show your love, to demonstrate your love, to be examples and conduits and blessings and channels of love, whatever the word is. We want to do that today. So Father, fill us with your love. And then, as Jesus said, 
out of our innermost being will flow rivers of living water. And that's what we want to do today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.